I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on quadratic functions. We will really find domain range for different kinds of quadratic functions. We will begin with uh, y equals to x square which is the parent function, right? It could be sketched as kind of like this. So that is the quadratic function y equals to x square, right? y equals to x square. And for quadratic function, the graph is a parabola x belongs to real numbers that is the domain right that is the domain and as far as the range is concerned y belongs to real numbers but y value is greater than or equal to zero right that becomes the range for a parabola so remember domain is all real numbers right so let me write down here a domain is x belongs to real numbers for all these parabolas. Now what I will do here is, I'll sketch one, you need to find its domain and range. As you know, domain is always real numbers. So we'll focus more on the range. So if I have a parabola like this, and this vertex is, let us say, at a value which is five, then what happens? Well, the range is, uh, you can say range is, y is less than equals to five, is it okay? Okay, I'm not writing, okay, shall we write y belongs to real numbers? How does it matter? Okay, how about if I sketch the graph towards the other side, that is opening upwards, but move a bit down, right? So, so I could have a graph which could be kind of like this. Now, if this point here is the bottommost point is at minus 7, then we say, range for this function is y belongs to real numbers where y is greater than or equal to minus 7. So from the graph it is very very easy to write down domain and range. We could have been given equation in this form which is y equals to 2x minus 4 whole square minus 3. That is the vertex form. So the vertex is at minus 4 I mean, vertex is at 4 minus 3. Well, we know domain for this function will be x belongs to real number. However, range will be what? Range will be y belongs to real numbers. Now, since this is positive, it opens upwards, right? So this function opens upwards. And this vertex is at minus 3. So we say y is greater than or equal to minus 3. So from this equation, we could get domain and range. We could be given an equation like y equals to x squared minus 5. Now for this, think like this. This is x squared minus 5. That means x squared has been moved 5 units down. Right? So, so we know for this function, range is y value is greater than or equals to minus 5. Is that okay? That is so easy. Now here is a test question for you. Okay, so let me write down the test question. Let me make some space here. Okay, let me give it here. We'll give it two questions. The test question is if domain is 1, 2, 3, and 5, find range of y equals to x squared minus 1. So that is the question for you. You can pause the video, answer the question, right? The second question for you is, let me write down here, question 2. I'm giving you this equation in a different form. Let's say f of x is equals to x plus 1 times, let's say x minus 5, right? You need to find domain and range for this function. So we are given you in factored form. How will you find domain range for this function? Okay, here is the solution. Since we know domain is 1, 2, 3, and 5, range will be what? Range will be, we have to substitute 1 here. If I substitute 1, I get 1 square minus 1, which is 0. Then I substitute 2. 2 square is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. Then I substitute 3. 3 square is 9. 9 minus 1 is 8. 
5. 5 square is 25, minus 1 is 24, right? So that becomes the range of this function. Do you see that? So if you are given only a few integer values, as given here, then you have to calculate those values for the given function and write the answer. So that's a tricky part. In this particular case, we know that the domain is x belongs to real numbers. However, to find the range, we need to find vertex. Where is the vertex? Vertex is at the axis of symmetry. So the two x-intercepts are at minus 1 and plus 5. So we do minus 1 plus 5 divided by 2. That is the x value. And this value is 4 minus 1, 5 minus 1 is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So 2. So the now this parabola opens upwards. Since both are positive, so it opens upwards, right? So it opens upwards. We need to find the vertex, okay? So we'll find the value of the function at 2. So if I substitute 2 here, I get 2 plus 1 times 2 minus 5. So 3 times 3 with a negative sign, which is minus 9. So for this particular function, range is y belongs to real numbers, where y is, since it opens upwards, greater than or equal to minus 9. Do you see that? So that is how you could solve this particular question. So these are very good questions from quadratic functions, and I hope you appreciate them. I am Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Feel free to post questions. Thank you, and all the best.